Hi everyone, this is Camilla with Magnolia Transfers. I'm going to show you how to create really easy mock-ups using the designs we offer. In order to make the mock-ups using this process, you will need an account with Canva.com. You don't need the premium version, uh, the free account will work just fine. Let's get started. Now to begin, we're going to head over to MagnoliaTransfers.com. Next, we're going to hover over Business Tools in the menu and then click on Free Mockups. Once that page loads, you're going to find our free collections of blank mockups that are made just for Magnolia Transfers. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be working with Christmas Mockups Number One Collection. These mockups are already made in a template on Canva.com. So all you will need to do is just copy and paste the transfer image onto the mockup and then save. Now since we're working with the Christmas mockups number one collection, I will go ahead and click on that link. As you can see, a new window opened and it says a template created by Magnolia Transfers was shared with you. Start designing now. If you're logged in, you should have the button that says Use Template. We'll go ahead and click on that. Once the page loads, you'll see that you now have copies of blank t-shirts in all different colors. For instance, the Christmas mock-ups um, number one collection has a total of five t-shirts that are on Christmas themed backgrounds. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back to Magnolia Transfers and pick our designs for these mock-ups. So we're going to switch over and once we're back on the Magnolia Transfers website, we're going to go up here to shop with us. And since we are using the Christmas mock-ups, we're going to go ahead and select Christmas. Now once this page loads, this is going to show you all of the Christmas designs that we offer. And then you can see we, right now we have seven pages. So what I'm going to do for the first shirt, which was a red shirt, I'm going to go ahead and I want to use this Santa Claus for the example. I'm going to go ahead and click on that listing and let the product um, listing load. I'm going to put my mouse over the image, right click and choose copy image. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back to that tab where the Canva template was and I'm going to put my mouse over the shirt that I want to place that design on. For this example, I'm going to put it on this red shirt. So I put my mouse over the red shirt, I right click and I click paste. It just put that design over the t-shirt. Now of course it's big, but this box right here will allow us to shrink it down to fit that shirt. You just grab a corner, hold it with your mouse, and drag it in. Then you can put your mouse over the image, hold down the left uh, button on your mouse, and move it around. And position it just where you want. As you can see, the image is fully watermarked. So there is no printing, and it's also a reduced size. So if someone does try to print it, it's not going to be of good quality. The, these are specifically made just so our customers can create mock-ups. Now once we have that image exactly where it needs to be, we can scroll on down to the next shirt. And if we're going to use, say, a black shirt or we have more designs to offer, we can go back to Magnolia and I'll just go back to the Christmas and I'm going to pick another design that will work for that. Um, for right now, I'm going to put this. The Griswold Illumination Chicago, Illinois established 1989. I think that is an absolutely cute design and I think it will be very popular this Christmas. So once um, I clicked on that listing, it loaded. I put my mouse over that design. I right click, choose copy image. I go back to my Canva template. So you've got two tabs that you're working with. You're going to put your mouse over the shirt. You're going to right, um, you right click and then you're going to choose paste. And it automatically puts that design. And as you can tell, it does have a transparent background. 
um, that's one thing that a lot of people don't have um, like the option they don't give that option to their customers but we decided that we would instead of making mock-ups for our customers we're going to teach you how to make your own so I will move this around resize it as big as I want it you know if I would prefer it to be like a big design or what if I wanted it to be a pocket I would size it down we're just going to have it like this you position and then you scroll on down and you will keep doing that with every single one of these now if you don't want to use the gray or the white or the green you don't have to it's simply up to you um, I'm going to go ahead and do this green one so I'm going to switch back over go to Magnolia you can go to shop with us Christmas I'm going to pick another design that I think that will look great on it this one is yeah I mean it's completely true <laughs> so I love that product I put my mouse over it right click copy image I go back put my mouse over the shirt right click paste and then I'm just going to resize that down position like that now on this one as you can see there is a lot of um, extra space right here you can go in and you can choose um, go up here to the top and choose crop and you just kind of drag your corner if you want to reduce some of that watermark it's not going to take it all the way off um, it just removes that excess box the image has to remain watermarked um, because we do respect the designers and printing images that are not licensed or purchased is it, you know there's no sense in that we offer the designs we've got the license just do the right thing respect the respect the artists um, anyway so you're going to go up here to done once you've cropped it click done and as you can tell it did remove a good bit of that um, extra watermark so let's say that i'm done making my um, mock-ups what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up here to share and then i'm going to choose download N none of this i would mess with go right here to select pages okay so as you can tell all pages or all mock-ups is selected but we didn't use all so I'm going to go ahead and unselect the all pages and then I'm just going to go in and you can tell right here which ones you did use I'm going to select this this one I did not use that one or this one and I know I did use the green it's just not loading and I'll select that and then I'm going to click done so I am going to be downloading the first second and fifth image all I'm going to do is click download Canva goes ahead it gets all the images together and then it downloads it to my computer when I open it I'll have all my files um, it'll be in a zip file you will extract it and you will have your PNG mockups that you created if you have any questions just reach out you can post your questions in our Facebook group you can email me or you can send me a text. I hope you have a blessed day.